Welcome, collectors, to another brand new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new release by Fire Replicas. This is the Mac DM800 Tandem Axle Tractor in the red over black configuration. Only 84 models of this specific color combination were commissioned by Fire Replicas, and as of the taping of this video, every single one of them have been spoken for. Let's begin the unboxing process. If you've ever seen a Fire Replicas review video done on this channel, you will know there's a very specific procedural way that you go about unboxing one of these videos. So, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. The box is a plain white box for the most part, but it does say Fire Replicas. The side tells you what's inside by giving you a item number. In this case, it's FR095-2. The bottom of the box has your Mac licensed product code right there, as well as some other copyright information. To unbox this model, it is of the flip open type variety, so you flip the top open. The very first thing you get in the model is an instructional sheet with step-by-step -step instructions how to go about unboxing your model very, very carefully. First thing you do is remove the top piece of foam rubber that unveils the model to you, and you'll see some black ribbons. You grab hold of those very carefully, and you pull straight up. Pull down on the ribbons. That unveils the model in its display case, as you can see. Now, for transport and everything, you can see that the display case has this protective tape and filament on it. If you wish to, when you receive your model, obviously you can remove that. You take the top portion of the display case off, just like this. There are some additional pieces of packaging inside to protect the model, such as this, which sits over the fifth wheel, and another piece of black foam rubber. Once you do that, you are able to look at your Fire Replicas model. When we come back, we will begin the model review, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. As with all Fire Replicas pieces, these models are handcrafted. They're limited in production and they're display ready. These take hours to painstakingly assemble piece by piece. So let's go over the details and some of the features that are on this truck. We'll begin with the detailed interior. You can see the steering wheel. You can see the seats in the back of the truck. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but they are there. That's one of the many aspects of any Fire Replicas piece, is just every time you look at it, you seem to pick out a new detail on it. You have the multi-piece marker lights and the light bar, and spotlights, which are right here on top of your headache rack. You have your main element here, which of course is your uh, light here, your amber warning light. There's also another orange beacon light right up on top of the cab, circular one right here. You have individual window trim, on your windows in black. You can see that here. You have a pylon that sits on the back. The model dimensions are 6.5 in length, 2.25 inches wide and 2.5 inches tall to the highest point of the model. The case dimensions, if you're interested in keeping it in the case, those measure out to eight inches long, 4.5 inches wide, and 4.5 inches tall. Continuing on, you have stainless steel windshield wipers, which you can just see here in black. You have a bug shield, which is this, appears to be this little clear piece, what would be like Lexan in the real world. Uh, you also have your black delineators or markers on the side of your truck. Uh, you also have Mac letters, grill, your stirrup steps here if you wanted to step on those to pull the cab forward, or I'm sorry, pull the hood forward for maintenance, that kind of thing. Let's turn the truck around, take a look at some of the details that are on the back. Now, there were six total colors of these DM800s produced. Three of them were produced with a winch, and three of them, including the red version, were produced with an auxiliary tank. So this is the auxiliary tank that's present on the back of the truck. Uh, as I said before, you have your headache rack. If you can see right here, I'll point it out to you. 
You're also provided with a very nicely replicated fire extinguisher. I mentioned the pylons or traffic cones. Here's your fifth wheel, your diamond plated texturing, which are uh, on your wheel wells, fender wells. Coming over here, you have your exhaust stack, which has a hole in it, but the hole is not blacked out to give it the simulation that it has depth into it. Uh, this is a DM800, so if we look at it straight on, you can see that it has the offset type cab on it. As with all the Mack trucks, you have the stainless steel Mack hood logo right here, the Bulldog, and then the Mack logo here, and then the logo inside each of the hub covers. Back here, multi-piece lighting for your tail lights and another Mack logo here as well. Not to mention your auxiliary lines. Again, these lines are not meant to be functional, so don't take these lines and try and put them into a trailer. It's not going to work out very well for you. So that's about it with the detail on this truck. As I've pointed out before many times, anytime I do a fire replicas review, these are meant to stay on this base. You can see it has the nameplate there, which reads Mac DM800 Tandem Axle Tractor. However, if you do want to purchase one of these, and remove it from the base. You can do that by cutting into here. It is simply held on by two screws. You can see the mount right there for one, and then the other mount is right there between the front axles for the other one. Again, personally, I would encourage against that. You are very, very likely to break something in the process of doing that, uh, let alone destroy the long-term value of your model. But it's yours, you do with it what you want. Just know that these models were not designed to be functional, nor were they designed to be removed from the display base. In conclusion, my overall opinion of the Fire Replicas Mac DM800 Tandem Axle Tractor, it's just like any other Fire Replicas Mac piece that we've seen recently on this channel. Superb, superb quality, superb detail, museum quality replica, unmatched by any other manufacturer for over-the-road trucks. As I said, only 84 made. It is in precisely 150th scale. You can tell that it was, without question, an arduous process of over 16 months of design. And uh, by the time that we got these, from conceptualization to actually having these in collector hands. Other colors included were red over yellow. There was a matte green version, an orange version, as well as a black version uh, and a yellow version, yellow over black. So those were all six of the color combinations. So I believe that there are still some black ones, some red over yellow, and some yellow over black versions available. To my knowledge, the green are sold out, this version, the red, is sold out, and the orange version is sold out, at least from FireReplicas.com. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next Diecast Emporium review.